Good afternoon and welcome to this video. You shall know them by their fruits. Divine Truth, A.J. Miller and Mary. A.J. Miller has presented truths about God and the universe to us with courage and great determination. However, he went a step too far in presenting a way that others could follow and called himself the hallowed name of God, Jesus. After 10 years of presenting his way to groups around the world and having a group of volunteers to help, what are the fruits? By 2017, AJ had practically given up hope of reversing his ageing process. Something he said was possible. And he looked towards his followers to see what they might achieve using AJ's way. A promising young trio made some videos for a short time and even tried running a forum which quickly crumbled to pieces. AJ's team fell apart and it was just AJ and Mary by 2019. Content from them appears once or twice a year and is usually more than six months old. On March 19, 2021, the final nail was hammered into the coffin when a long-time member of their team died young and in tremendous pain, Alina. Know them by their fruits. This tree has not provided an ever-increasing yield, but has withered and withered, producing bad fruit for a long time and is now all but dead. It's pretty shocking and um, I was going to show you the website divinetruth.com Lena Our friend Lena passed into the spirit world on Friday morning 19th of March 2021 Lena worked with us in Divine Truth for around eight years. During that time, she helped with video recording, video editing, office inquiries, studio cleaning and maintenance, volunteer training and equipment care and storage. Lena is a hard working, hard worker, and we are grateful for her contributions towards helping us gift Divine Truth to others. She wants others to have the opportunity to hear God's truth. While Lena often finds it difficult to trust others and feel love others have for her, over the years I came to know her and I appreciate many things about her nature and character. Some of, her, her, some of our favourite times with Lena include when she allows her unique way of seeing the world and God's truth to shine through. We have often enjoyed her analogies and hearing about the particular elements of a teaching or channeling that strike a chord or create a light bulb moment for her. Lena is always practical, good with manual tasks and willing to give anything new a try, even if she is afraid. She has a great deal of courage about new experiences. She takes personal responsibility very seriously and is neat, tidy and very thorough and this continues to show through in most aspects of her life. Jesus and I encourage Lena to express herself freely when in our company and we really enjoy her unique personality and humour that shows through during these moments. She has an artistic nature which was often expressed when she was editing our videos. We also see her bring her sense of style and art to almost every area of her life, 
including her personal artwork, her fashion, her flair for food preparation and presentation, and the way she uses decor in her home. Lena has an eye for detail and aesthetics, and would often notice a problem with a camera shot or fix our hair. We don't really notice those things. She would remember where an item of equipment was kept, and she was a thoughtful gift giver, often noticing something about me and giving accordingly. Lena's childhood experiences growing up in Russia were difficult and triggered her courage and desire to leave Russia on her own as a teenager and experience life in other places of the world. She lived for a time in America before settling in Australia where she met and married Igor. Igor. Lena often co commented about her early experience of Russian society and the way that women are sexualized by men in their families and in general society and how women including mothers train their daughters to meet the sexual expectations of men this treatment had a large impact on lena and the development of her illness cervical cancer like all of us before we become at one with god lena has unhealed emotions and addictions it is her, her avoidance of some of these addictions and emotions that created her illness. From the time we met Lena and Igor in 2010, we were always talking with them about these relationship issues and the impact not dealing with them would have on their future lives. In 2014, Lena told us that precancerous cells had been found. Since then, we have had many discussions with her and Igor about the emotional causes of cervical cancer. We talked about her suppressed anger about having to please men sexually and the childhood events that led her to that led her that led her belief that she had to do that. In twenty seventeen we asked Igor to no longer work with us because we were concerned about his attitude and behaviour towards Lena and women generally. We felt he needed time away from us to decide whether he wanted to deal with those problems. At the same time, we spoke to Lena about her eagerness to comply with a man's demands and refusal to confront the man's treatment of her even when she felt it was unloving. In late 2018, Jesus and I asked Lena to stop working with us so that she could focus entirely on releasing these addictions and her hurt emotions. Since Igor was no longer living with her, she was attempting to enter the same addictions with other men, including Jesus, and using her work with divine truth to avoid the realities of her illness. We told her we were very concerned about her desire to deny and ignore emotions that continued to harm her and that were developing into major physical problems. We told her that without dealing with them properly, she would die from cancer. Although reluctant, Lena saw the points that we were raising with her and made some decisions to change her life and deal more directly with her illness. In the intervening years, we have kept in touch, visited Lena and Igor at home and in hospital and discussed the same spiritual and emotional issues with them when invited to. On Sunday the 14th of March 2021, five days prior to her passing, Lena invited us to visit again and told us that she had made the decision to pass. Her physical pain had been increasing for a long time and for many reasons she was finding it difficult to release the emotional pain that caused her physical illness. Some of, some of Lena's difficulties included blaming herself for the way others treated her, being judgmental towards herself and others, being angry about having to be truthful about others' unloving treatment and taking action to correct it and love herself in the situation, not wanting to feel her own loneliness, not wanting to feel about how unloved she had been in her childhood, not wanting to feel her anger about men's sexual projections and sexual demands and using addictions and pleasing others as a method of avoiding these emotions, those emotions. 
She was often angry at those who love her and pandering towards those who didn't, although none of these difficulties are any part of Lena's nature or personality. Lena has anger, fear and sadness relating to the issues we discussed with her and wants to avoid experiencing and releasing these painful emotions. Lena could see that these problems were still difficult for her to address and experience and we discussed that she would have opportunities to work through these emotions and make new choices in the spirit world. We discussed her fears and having faith about passing, having faith about God, God's love for her and God's truth about the power of releasing painful emotion. We told her about the great deal of love available to her in the spirit world as she chooses it. We talked about the prayers of friends and efforts of spirits that can assist her now that she is there. Then she quotes a book and another book. Jesus feels that Lena was far too absorbed in fixing her physical symptoms rather than experiencing and taking action on her spiritual and emotional that cause her illness. I made a comment to Lena on one of our visits about how in the past I would become obsessed with a physical diet or fix to avoid the emotional turmoil I was in at the time. She commented that she had also done this with some of the therapies she tried in order to cure cancer. That is a good lesson which Lena was already ahead of the game in learning. Lena came to see and continues to see lessons and truths that most people who listen to divine truth on earth are still in denial of. Although Lena passed due to her physical illness, unlike many millions of humans who pass every year, she is aware of the spiritual and emotional causes of her passing, and therefore we expect that her spiritual life, she will not encounter many of the difficulties that most people who pass from earth experience. Lena is resting quietly at the moment as her final two years of life on earth were very exhausting and painful for her. Once she recovers some of her strength, we have made an arrangement with her to come and speak with us. We expect to continue to regularly talk to her as we do with many people who now live in the spirit world. We love Lena and look forward to our ongoing and deepening friendship with her. Let me quote another book. Right, so phone's going, but we can ignore that because it will just be a rubbish call. Um, come back for part two in a minute.